Hi, my name is Misha Maras with Vermont Photonics, and today I'm going to be giving a short demonstration on how to measure straightness and parallelism of a machine way using an autocollimator. The tools I'm going to be using today are the Elkamat 3000 electronic autocollimator with display head, a pentaprism to turn the beam path 90 degrees, a 100 millimeter base length mirror, and the Elko Win measurement software. To perform this measurement, I'll slide the mirror down the rail, taking a data point at every 100 millimeters. Comparing the angle between each of these points will give me a straightness profile of this rail. Now that we have a straightness profile for this rail, we can measure a straightness profile for this rail and also measure the parallelism between the two rails. To do this, I'll move the pentaprism over to this rail. Because the pentaprism is guaranteed to turn the beam at exactly 90 degrees, we've maintained our optical reference. Now we'll repeat the measurement process on this rail. Now that we've completed the measurement, we can see on our screen a graph of the straightness profiles of both rails, as well as numerical data on their straightness and parallelism. The Elkamat 3000 is very well suited for this task because of its long working distance capabilities and its very high accuracy. With a working distance of up to 25 meters, it is able to measure very long rails. With its accuracy of one quarter arc second, the Elkamat 3000 is able to measure differences in straightness on the order of 10 microns. The ElkoWin software allows you to easily log data and generate reports. Using similar techniques, the Elkamat 3000 is also able to perform several other types of measurements, such as flatness of a granite surface plate and straightness of travel of a linear stage. For more information on making measurements with autocollimators, please give us a call here at Vermont Photonics or visit our website. We're more than happy to discuss your unique application with you and happy straightening.